BMS communication between uh, Expert Max 11 KVA and the Pylon Tech uh, UP5000 battery. Um, it's been brought to my attention that the firmware uh, on these units is outdated. Um, it do not work with the UP5000. The correct version to use is on your remote panel version U2 2220. Um, if you have any previous version of the firmware on the remote panel, the BMS communication, communication will not work. So that is the first thing to check. So the correct setting is DIP 1 is in the on position and DIP number 2, 3 and 4 is in the off position. Um, just be sure to set it upside down. Um, do make the setting while the battery is off um, otherwise the setting will not take effect um, you have to do that setting while the battery is off so currently it is displaying a 61 warning um, because I do not have the communications cable uh, connected as yet um, so obviously because it's giving the 61 warning it is set to the lithium ion setting already. Um, however, let's just double check that. Press the enter button, keep it pressed in till you get the zero zero escape option. Go down to menu number five. It needs to be set to PYL for pylon tech. So we're basically ready to connect the battery. Okay, so for the correct BMS communication pinout, um, you can use a normal networking cable with the normal color coding scheme uh, on the battery side and then refit a new plug on the inverter side with the correct wiring uh, to get your communication up and running. Um, in this case, on the inverter side, pin number 3 will lead to battery side pin number 8 and then inverter side pin number five will lead to battery side pin number seven now as mentioned the normal networking plug with the normal color coding will go to your rs485 port on the battery and then the side that we've rewired will go to your bms port on the inverter side now it can take up to about a minute to establish BMS communication and in this case it actually was less. Do take note your lithium ion icon is on but do not take that as it's communicating. That's purely telling you the battery type. In this case you set it to lithium ion battery type. Um, it's just informative telling you this inverter is set up for lithium iron to be sure your bms communication is up and running have a look at your brackets and the flashing battery light this flashing brackets is your tell, telltale sign that the communication is up and running 